The local sports world affected by the fire at Highland High School. The other two high schools in town, Pocatello and Century, playing each other today in baseball. But before the game, their focus was with their peers over at Highland. I'm a graduate of Highland, so yeah, it's a little emotional this morning, but thoughts and prayers to all the students, teachers, administration, and those guys, athletes, cheerleaders, all those guys. Like, obviously, when we're playing sports, there's a rivalry, but those are still our friends, so it's just rough. I'm glad the community is giving them some support. We, uh, we're we wearing our uh, gray and white sock today for Highland and uh, show support for them, so hopefully everything goes well over there and everything works out soon. But I know we're all rivalries and we like to compete and stuff, but the bottom line is we're a community and we stick together. The Rams Sox in action for J.D. Gunderson and the Thunder. They're already up big in the bottom of the first and not finished yet. Martin Serrano using the entire field. RBI single for the catcher. Jace Vaughn scores. Pokey is already up 9 to nothing. Mac Evans is next. Return to sender here with the line drive. That's another base hit. Caden Knowles comes on home. 10 zip the tally. Cooper Snyder getting back down and away for the swinging strikeout. In the top of the second, Snyder steps into the box, hits the grounder up the middle, gets through and into the outfield. Snyder with a single. But the Thunder offense doesn't stop. Caden Knowles to the deepest part of the yard in right field. That's extra bases and scores some more runs. The Thunder win three in a row over century 15 to nothing the final.